that, that's that's the female. <laughs> You can get wrinkles. Well, there's really not much that you can do. There's no... hair change or anything like that. Uh... Now there's really, as far as that goes, nothing you can do. Alright, let's head out. Uh, new game. I am playing solo. Sometimes the spirit of adventure beckons so much, it's pointless to resist it. Some people find enough courage to get on a train and head off into outer space. Hmm, no. Also no. Wrong again. These are all wrong stories. Ah, there it is, the forest. This train was passing through impenetrable, dense forests. However, that was not a nameless journey, but a long way up here, right into the heart of the endless snowy nowhere. A perfect place for those who prefer tranquility, silence, and minus 45 degrees outside the window. Brr. Meet the man who made off into this palace of silence, the engineer. He'll be here on watch duty for many long and cold months, until the next lucky guy strides in to replace him. If one comes through at all, of course. But there's no need to feel sorry for him. Although the terrain is wild, there's plenty to see and do around here. Especially if you're curious enough. Fortunately for my story, engineers are almost always inquisitive and attentive. These people notice things that elude the average person. And everything would have been fine in this adventure if the blizzard had not started at the wrong time. The chilly wind blew the engineer off the trail, which he immediately lost sight of. His fingers instantly turned into ice like everything else around him. The last hope of salvation, a map of the terrain, treacherously slipped out of his hands. Luckily, the video's timing didn't allow the engineer to suffer for long. All of a sudden, in the middle of snowy nowhere, it appeared. A door to... Where to, by the way? The building didn't seem to be on the engineer's maps. Anybody home? This is how it all usually starts. All right, welcome. Uh, thank you for joining me for Void Train. Getting a bit laggy. It's a bit dark. I'm experiencing a, a, a sleet, uh, snowy storm right now, so that, yeah, I understand. Alright. Do I turn the lights on? I just checked, uh, I've been at this for a few minutes. I 
read through the uh, Steam community page, and it looks like I am bugged out. So I will be right back. But for people who want to know, yes, you can bug out in this spot. You get stuck in the cabin and you can't go anywhere. In that strange hut, there was nothing. No people. No warmth. Only darkness. Oh, now we can interact with it. We couldn't do that before. Interesting. If I were you, I'd look for a key. Or something that looks like a key. Maybe just something heavy. That's going to help. I like it though. Hmm, a heavy blunt object. Gotta grab it. There's nothing left to fix with a hammer. Any other ideas? So, my glorious hero, having passed all the hardships of his watch, finally obtains a light in order to... Hmm. To notice something strange on the table? Of course we get knocked out. <laughs> yeah, that was a completely different feel than the first time when I walked in. Everything was broken. Hey, you all right? Oh, you're finally awake. Hmm. A typical day on watch, huh? Those are cute little creatures. Are they gonna eat my face off? Well, this might come in handy. So a really good friend of mine who recommended this told me to think of it as if, um, to think of it as raft. There's no gravity in the void. Jump off the train and head to the desired direction to move. To pull up the train on the rope and then I'm okay. Essentially, I'm like swimming, right? 
Okay, invisible wall. The diary stores active quests as well as collecting information about the game world. To open the diary, press J. Sometimes a coincidence can open the door to a new destiny, one where you have to start all over again. Of course. Such an inventive mind wouldn't have any trouble figuring out the mechanism of a simple trolley. Well, pretty much. Try pulling the other lever. All right now, just slowly. picked up? Is the author some kind of scientist or inventor? I hope he's not too upset that we stole his train. That was awkward. So how do I slow down? These guys are adorable, but I'm pretty sure they're going to eat my face. the string will or the rope will go organics else hiding
It really does feel like I'm swimming, doesn't it? So can the train be moving and can I still jump off? Yeah. There is yes. A very visually interesting bit that's going on. So there was, I did see when I went to go to the Steam community page to figure out what my dilemma was in that first uh, cabin there. Um, I did see a lot of complaints about people complaining how the demo end. I guess it was kind of a goofy part, but we'll figure that out for ourselves. Alright, let's head down. A wooden floor. That squelchy sound bang gets to me.
I think he would leave that rope on at all times. Right. the gate. Look at those big chains right there. What the snap is this? I didn't expect to be greeted with balloons and fanfare, but where is everybody? I'd tell you what to do about it, but I have no idea. Right. If there's going to be like these random stops like this, I'm <clears throat> going to really like it. I, I was afraid that it was just going to be the straight, uh, just on the track thing, but. I can make sure that there's nothing that walking past. Oh. Again, uh, not. Right, sneaky. I haven't seen anything now. There already. Uh, I don't like this. Do I jump on the tree and then jump over? Oh wait, that's right, there's no gravity. I remember. I go over that way. So I do hope that they give us more character models, because like, as you clearly saw, it was allowed me to pick a female, but I didn't look particularly female. I guess could be the point. Wait. Oh, I think I see. Okay.
Poor thing. Well, the goddesses of time and fate can't weave a long life path for everyone. Well, at least he won't be needing the revolver anymore. Can't interact with that. Note, I was hoping it would have something to say, but it doesn't. Alright, there's nothing as far as note wise to see, which is a little unfortunate. Who do you think this skeleton was? So many diagrams. Hmm. He left the combination of the safe right out in the open. That was a great idea. But don't ever do the same thing, okay? Sorry, I didn't mean to um cut him off. I got an idea. We're gonna need those parts soon. Explorer in me is a bit disappointed that there isn't more things for me to like pick up and look at now lore to read. Brilliant idea and the details. The console on the platform looks suspiciously similar to the device in the blueprints. It was mentioned there in the train upgrade paragraph. Engineer, truly an engineer. Oh, so similar to, again, Raft, you can put the blueprint down, but then you just need that. See, okay. Table. Research and build container. can't build it because I don't have metal. What am I going to do about that? Can I hook myself up, please? <laughs> Coming at me, sir. Thank you. 
<laughs> okay, so the got the chest built. Shooting the big guy seems to do nothing other than make him go away. Maybe that's the point, though. The leech is not clever or intelligent. You can hardly call it dangerous either. But they will slow the train down. Okay. Is there a leech on our train? Maybe Bruce 2.0. Next question is how do I create food because my character is pretty hungry.
too? Or am I hallucinating already? Um, can they see us? Hey! Well, whatever. Oh. That was <laughs> okay. I now get the comments where they are like, that was a really stupid way to end. <laughs> All right. Well, that is the Void Train. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me. I will be back with more. Um, I'll keep an eye out on this game. I actually did like it. I do understand now why it was being compared to Raft. Um, yeah, so 